This is a video supplement to my manual on rebuilding these old Bosch diesel fuel injectors. You know, from time to time, I'll have to come up with these supplements as things change in relation to procedures and also in relation to parts available, as is the case now, some of these shims we can no longer obtain, so I'm going to have to modify my kit and also modify the instructions on how to use the current shims that I can supply. It used to be that Monarch would supply all these different thickness shims. Here's a real thin one, a medium one, and a thick one. Some of them would actually be quite thick. So you could go through your selection and choose the right shim, put one shim in, and uh, you'd be done with the adjustment of your fuel injection release pressure. Now I'm gonna open up this injector now and show you where the shim is located and why it is so important that you get the correct size shim when you go to rebuild these mechanical Bosch fuel injectors. If I skim over certain specifics, as I will here, it's because the information is the written manual tells you how to separate the two halves of the fuel injector by using a vise and the proper size wrench. Once you loosen these two halves up, you can unscrew them and this is the way they come apart. You're gonna concentrate here on the upper half, okay? There's a large spring here, we're gonna pull the spring out. And usually down in there is a shim which sets the spring pressure. And that's why I include this tool in the kit to allow you to go in there and get that shim out of there. Sometimes it's, it's pretty hard to get that shim out of there. You gotta fish around. If you can't easily get a hold of it with a pick, sometimes a light tap on the bench will get the shim coming out. Now look closely in this case, see how thick that shim is? Well, I can no longer get those. So if you're going to replace the nozzle and you go to test your fuel injector and it's not firing at the right pressure, you're going to have to either increase or decrease the thickness of the shim. And let me show you now how you're going to be able to do that using my variable thickness shim kit. The kit comes with 26 shims. You have 10, which are approximately 40 thousandths of an inch. You have eight, which are approximately two thousandths of an inch, and you have another eight, which are approximately four thousandths of an inch. You're going to need some type of caliper that you can accurately measure the thickness of these washers as you're coming up with a combination that will give you what you want. If the pressure is too high, you're going to have to reduce the thickness. So let's say the pressure is a couple hundred PSI too high. So I'm going to measure this washer right there. Now that tells me that it is 58 thousandths of an inch. So I know that two of those is approximately 80 thousandths, so we don't want that. I could take one of these and two of those and one of these. Now I'm going to recommend you get a magnet, particularly when you're working with these real thin ones. Okay, let's see what happens if we put all these together. Get the magnet and put them together like that. Now let's measure these. Look at that, 49 thousandths. So that particular combination would give you 50 thousandths of an inch if that is what you're looking for. So I feel that I'm giving you enough shims here that will allow you to adjust five fuel injectors with any number of combination that will get you the correct release pressure as outlined in my manual. You'll have to go back to my manual to explain the whole procedure and how much shim to add or take off depending upon how much PSI you want to either reduce or increase the release pressure. 